Hello and welcome. This is John and today I want to talk to you about a really great video creation program called Content Samurai. I've been using uh, Content Samurai for well over a year, probably close to two years now, and it is by far the easiest uh, program I've used to make videos online. So what I want to do today is take you through an example of how to use Content Samurai to make really high quality engaging videos that you can then either uh, sell to clients, you can use them to upload uh, to websites that you own, blogs that you own, certainly upload, upload them to any of the um, video sharing sites like YouTube, Vimeo, etc. You can, uh, they have social media size videos, so you can, you know, use them to put up on Facebook, Instagram, etc. There's tons and tons of possibilities of how you can use Content Samurai in your online business, either personally for what you're doing or for clients. So here we are in my Content Samurai account, and I, I make videos for clients and I make videos for myself. So a lot of these videos are for clients. And then um, uh, if we scroll, and you can make videos really about anything. And so, you know, I have a client that is in the ED niche. And so that's what a lot of these videos are for. He, he has me make a lot of videos for him. Um, you know, here's one about someone who's selling fingerprinting ink pads. Um, this is about a new vitamin kind of water product. Um, so you can make it really about anything. This is about a new kind of fish oil product somebody had me make, some for attorneys. Um, you know, just it's a ton. This is for a Facebook ad somebody wanted me to make for them. Uh, here's real estate videos, and then uh, these are videos I made for myself for our, from different ClickBank products, Fat Diminisher, Diabetes Loophole, etc. So let's go ahead and start. The first thing you need to do is when you're logged in, just hit create a new video, and it's going to pop up and show you um, what to do. Now, the first, uh, the steps in, in making the video. They just go right down the left-hand side here. So first, you have to choose the template that you want to use. And then we're going to put a script in, make the scenes for the video, uh, add a voice if we want one or not, and then preview it. And once we're done, download the video. So in the templates, you can have video formats for social media. So again, these are more square. And then these are giving you a preview, you know, cool blue. So, you know, bluish background. Uh, but you can have where you have, you know, a, a set um, title on the top of the video and the text changing below while the images change. These are really popular right now on social media. And again, just different, all kinds of different styles, okay? Uh, you can have videos for your online courses, real estate videos, sales videos. This is the one I use the most, video from an article or blog post, okay? So let's go ahead and use that. And again, all kinds of different templates to choose from. The one I use, mo you know, fairly frequently is this one. And so let's go ahead and select it to get started. Just give it a title. Um, we're going to do one. I have a PLR, private label rights article. So that's another great thing. So where do you get content? You can get, you know, content um, or, or script, you know, um, script content for your video. Again, from a website, if you have that, you can buy private label rights articles where you buy the rights to use those articles. That's what I use a lot. Or if I'm making videos for clients, I have them give me the script. Okay, because I don't write scripts. I'm not a script writer. But if they give me the script, then I can go ahead and make the video. So what I have, like I said, is a PLR, PLR article about boosting your metabolism to lose weight. So let's go ahead and paste that in here. Now what you do want to do is take a little bit of time to kind of go through and clean it up because you know this much text for this paragraph is really not going to look very good on the video okay so you kind of want to go through and um, you know separate it out kind of I, I try to keep it so that you don't really have more than one line here in the box like this one has two lines so you could, you know, kind of find a natural place to change it up. And then you just go through there. It doesn't take very long. 
Um, here's your options. You can automatically fit the text to the layout. You can have one slide per sentence. What I usually choose is one slide per paragraph. Okay, so you know each of these with a space in between is a new paragraph. And when we get to the example, what you'll see is how the text looks when we just do one line like this versus you know, we're going to try and force these three lines all together onto a slide. It's going to be very small, hard to read, etc. Now you can uh, allow the software to you know bold keywords for you if you'd like. Select video clips, select images, select layouts, etc. I usually just unclick bold, but I go ahead and let it do everything else for me. Animations, motions, etc. So once you're done, then all you do is just, let me get myself out of the way. Click either create scenes for your video, or you can do it here as well. And then it's going to go ahead and start pulling up images and video clips. Now. Let's talk about that. It's got access to hundreds of thousands of different images and video clips that you can use. The video clips come from, I believe it's video blocks, um, and so or story blocks, I forget which, but they have a licensing agreement with them where you fall under the license of Content Samurai as a, as a user of Content Samurai, and so you don't need to at, give attribution if you do anything with video blocks. Now, the images come from several different places, Pexels, Pixabay, etc. Um, you do need to give attribution for those or it's recommended. They give you a link that gives it the attribution that you need. Um, again, some people feel like that's not necessary. Um, so that's sometimes uh, can be a different call from person to person. So when we're in the scene setting, you have three kind of main options across the top. Media, layouts, and style. Now, I don't do much with layouts um, because really the text layout is here. And style just lets you change, you know, color, background, the font, um, that type of thing. Again, I just typically leave it alone. So media is where you're going to do most of your scene work. And you can either find media by searching either for video clips or for images. Or you can upload video clips or images if you have those. So you can upload them. So when I do... Uh, videos for client work, a lot of times they'll give me videos that they want to make sure get included. And so I'll upload them, or if they have video clips or images, I can upload those. So anyway, we're just going to find. So let's just say we search for a, a keyword. Um, uh, I'm just going to put in diet. Just, And so you'll see it'll bring back. These are all video clips, okay? And if you hover over the clip, you can, you know, it'll give you a preview of what it's going to look like. Um, so just hover over it. So you can see this is a person eating a salad. And so if you want to change this out, this clip that they, uh, so this is what they automatically selected for you. You just simply click on what you want and it'll put it in in its, in its place. And again, you just hover over it and you can see what that is happening. Now, you can adjust the text as far as location well first you can you know choose any text that you want to be bold just click on the bold you can italicize you can underline okay so these are all just standard options if you don't want text on a slide you can hide the text okay so now the text that would be on that slide you see it's hidden down here but it's not on going to be on the slide itself you can undo that and then you can decide where do you want the text to go as far as position on the slide. And what that's showing you is right now it's in the center. You can put it up on top. You can put it in the top left. You can put it middle left, etc. Any of these blocks, okay? Just where you want it. Because, you know, the text, maybe you don't want it hiding something there, so you want it on the bottom instead. So as you can see, there's um, 61 scenes that it came up with based on how many paragraphs I had. If you want to get rid of a scene, you can just delete it. If you want to add a scene or a video clip, you just that would go before this one. You just click this. Or if you have a, a image or video clip that a image scene or video clip that you want to go after it, you can add it here. This is the transition. You can change the transition if you want. Again, I just let it pick it for me. And then you can merge scenes if you want as well. So let's look. Remember how we had just one line per um, slide? So, you know, these are pretty easy to read. 
Um, now we're going to get to where we, yeah, so we didn't separate that out. And so this isn't terribly hard to read, but it is a lot of text per slide. Obviously, it looks a lot better um, because that is one thing Content Samurai is going to do. Is this going to auto size the text for you? Okay, so if you take text out, then whatever is left, you know, will get bigger. And as you add more text, then it's going to whatever is left. Um, I'm sorry, if you take you know text out, whatever is left will just get should get bigger. It's supposed to be getting bigger. I mean, out of because we had some in there. But if you add more text, then this is what's going to happen. Is the, the font size will just keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Um, now, you can, you know, you can say, okay, well, maybe I should take this out because that's too small. So we just get rid of it. As you can see, that got bigger. Let's go ahead and add a new scene. Okay, so here we are. And now let's paste that text that we got rid of here, and let's link these two scenes together, okay? So now instead of being super small and hard to read, we split it up over two slides. We linked them together so it keeps the same image in the background. Um, and then you just go through for every slide and just make any adjustments that you want to. Uh, the next thing you'd go on to, once you're done, at the very bottom, it would be add a voice where you can click over here. Now, you have options. You can just do music only if you don't want any kind of voice. They do have some pretty good auto voices, okay? So um, I'll let this play. You know, they have some um, U.S. voices. Those are these and United Kingdom and Australia. And they have a couple different female and a couple different male. So let me let this play and you can hear what it sounds like. Hi, my name is Anna and I would love to read the script for your video. So not too bad, really. You can record your own voice. If you do this, so you can see there's 60 scenes. It's just going to take you through, and you just hit record. You read it, hit done, and it'll just go through one by one. This is a pretty easy way, way to do it as well. Or if you have a voice track, so a lot of clients may give they may have a voiceover done by somebody else. They'll give me the voice track. I'll just upload it, MP3, WAV files, etc and then we're all set so i'm going to go ahead and say let's do auto voice and then the next thing is it'll pull up a preview and so what it's going to do is match up the voice to the text put the slides in order and when the final preview comes up what you're going to be able to do then is add a watermark if you want so like somebody has maybe a company logo um, so you can go ahead and stick a watermark in one of the corners uh, that's you can brand your videos, you can protect them, you know, so other people aren't, you know, stealing or using your stuff without permission. You can add music. It comes with a lot of included royalty-free music tracks, or if you have music that you have rights to, then, oh, what happened here? Da, 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 da. Well, let's try it again. Um, oh, problem generating the auto voice. Interesting. Okay. Not sure what happened. Let's try just a different one, and let's see what happens here. Um, they have a lot, or again, if you have music that you have access to, uh, that you own rights to, then you can upload your own music, and it'll go ahead and, and use that as background. And what you'll see when the preview comes up, you can adjust the volume of the voiceover, you can adjust the volume of the music, and then you can also go ahead and move scenes around based on um timing to make sure that you get the timing exactly the way you want it so everything syncs up so the voiceover if you're using voiceover syncs with the words on the slides okay so it must have been something with that auto voice that we chose at first but here we go so when this comes up again here you can there's again two main tabs on top music if you don't want any music that's fine if you want music again you can you know It'll play a preview so you can hear what it sounds like and then choose the, the music you want. Or if you have music, you can upload it. And if you've uploaded music before, then it'll be under this side again or upload. OK, um, you can adjust the music volume so it's not overpowering the voice. You can bring that down. You can adjust the voice track if you think it's too loud. You can adjust the speed. A lot of these auto voices, they tend to do a lot better at around 92, 91 percent, 
just hit apply it'll have to go through and recreate the scene timing so that's going to take a little bit this is a long script i probably should have picked a shorter one sorry about that um but it'll just have to go through and redo the timing so i'm actually going to put the video on pause and i'll be right back once that's done okay so it readjusted the uh, voiceover timing uh, based because we reduced the voice track speed and so you can see this is a fairly long video 13 minutes 17 seconds but it really didn't take that long and you can you know go ahead and let it play and preview it and so you can see it's really not that bad um, the auto voice that they provided it's actually pretty good what I'm doing now is I'm going to show you how you can manually adjust the timing. So um, if you feel like you want to try to add more space or if it seems like it's, you know, what it did is out of sync. Now, since this is auto voice, you know, it's pretty much going to be in sync. OK, but you can, you know, hit play. You can go down here and just click on the green line. You can adjust this, you know, where this slide will, where this scene will start. Um, and you just go through. And it'll make, let you adjust it. Now, once everything looks good, so if you're done with that, you can just hide the timing; it goes right back. Or you can, but once everything looks good, either from here, I'm gonna pick it myself out of the way. You can hit "Looks Good Continue," then it'll move on to um, generate your video, and then you'll be able to download it. So, oh, one last thing. Let me go back to the preview here. Okay, so on the preview, I forgot to mention about watermark. So you can just hit create a new watermark. It'll let you upload uh, a logo or image or whatever you have. So again, you can see these are some that I've created down below. And, you, and it'll show you, you can choose where you want the watermark to go. You can put it anywhere. You can get creative actually and upload something that goes across the full width. Okay, so you might upload a banner that says, you know, click up click the link in the description box below. If you're uploading to YouTube and you want that message to be there the entire time, you could upload that as a watermark, okay? And it would put it in there. So, and then you could edit your watermarks, you can change the opacity, the size, location, and all that. All right, so I hope that helps. Um, I love Content Samurai. Again, I use it all the time, almost every single day. I'm using it for either a client or for myself. And if you have any questions, please leave me a message. Um, they do offer a seven day free trial. So I'll put a link in the message below, uh, in the description box below. Click on that if you're interested. Uh, just full disclosure, I do make an affiliate commission if you decide to go with Content Samurai. But if you found this video hope, helpful, uh, I hope you might. Um, also, if you would, subscribe to my channel so I can keep providing some great content. I want to help you succeed online. So I'm going to try to give some tips and tricks to help you. And uh, if you like the video, if you wouldn't mind giving it a thumbs up, I appreciate that as well. Thanks so much if you made it this far. I know it's been a long video, but I wanted to go through and show you exactly how you do use Content Samurai and exactly how powerful it is. If you have, a que if you have any questions at all, please leave me a comment. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Thanks so much for watching.